a lot of our teams. Uh, oh, yeah. It's more so about the, the parts there than it is the, the whole unit, but that's a whole side. We're in South America right now for the close qualifier. Um, Imperial made in Brazil, trying to circle back, trying to get more tangible in this pregame discussion. Maybe this in-game discussion, as it looks like we are off to the rooftops, ladies and gentlemen. Map number one is Vertigo. I wanted to mention it. I totally forgot. Made in Brazil chose to be Team A in the vetoes. They chose to do that. And so, we'll see if it pays off for them. They didn't get to choose that final map between Anubis and Ancient. It was Imperial instead who got that luxury. See if it comes to bite them. A slow walk, but in Brazil, they've decided it's going to be an A ramp play, at least in the early goings. Five grouped up, and here comes the swing. Phelps information. Not even blows exchanged. Still a full 100 HP on every single player. In Brazil, fall back to contact. Now throwing their utility. Double made over. Lots of utility invested for this T side. And Imperial are the ones going on the offensive try. A flank, young gun, new addition, trying to find something. Gush down, but still alive. Still a thorn in the side of Made of Brazil as they spring their take. Drop the first one to find a kill in the round. Safe follows it up. The duelies now, though, are closing in. Two jaws from either side. Find a pair in Sonny. The trade, though. She only found the one kill. Ooh. That might cement the round as a result. Try at 42. Vinny at 11. Now just try at 42. The final versus four. I don't think there's a kit in play either, and it doesn't matter. And Sonny brains him. Two for him, one for BRN, one for safe, and one for drop to close the round in Made of Brazil's favor. Yeah, nice little explosion from the Glocks of MIBR. They take the mid-range fights, get that initial duel one, and scale off, forcing Try away and actually not losing a single player to him on that initial ramp flank really helps out for the T side as well. It allows them a little more comfort on their push up towards the site. And just the shots that were hit there by Made in Brazil. Fantastic save call coming through here from Imperial. No money into this round. A flashbang for a mid pop. And Sonny behind the generator. Blinded. He knows exactly what's coming his way. Pops back up. Sprays wild for one and only one. AK here for Imperial. They'll presumably try to bring that over into the next round. That's a nice little upgrade bonus piece to use as Drop will get dinked en route to controlling the B site. His teammates scale forward. Bomb will go down here. And Decenti has no plans to get back into this round with that AK. It's going to be saved. And the USPs might actually just play Bodyguard for it too, which is not a bad idea. There's no real reason for No Way or Phelps to kind of throw their bodies away at this point. Just keep that AK alive and say hey somebody die he dies somebody else can pick it up that ak is the most important piece right now definitely is we'll allow them to buy some more utility in the next round very precious weapon it's very dare i say exotic for the ct side can't purchase that one yeah one of two in the round too good piece of kit to rally around once the rifles come through all three will stay alive. No way in Phelps for kind of bodyguarding the AK, keeping them tucked in a corner. But no T's have come their way. 2 nil for Made in Brazil. It makes sense converting that pistol round, especially when you consider the fact that Imperial went for the full save. But I'd say both teams got what they wanted out of that round. An AK for Decenti and a round for Made in Brazil. Rifles come through. We are into the meat and potatoes of this first half, ladies and gentlemen. And Sonny on a bit of a bonus on the MAC-10 as his exit with his Galil and safe. Imperial have a good amount of riflery, pretty good amount of utility, and a kit for try. They're checking all the checkboxes. Gives them good grounds to make a stand in round three. Yeah, they have all the pieces. The problem is, can they put the puzzle together? Good flash for Phelps. He won't see anything. Try spam will... Get some return tracers, but no further push just yet. Nade finds nothing. That's going to signal the take, but Exit pops up. He gets a dink down. He already eliminated Phelps. No way swings out and Sonny down, but Exit again. Somehow, some way, walking one foot in the grave. Able to take down two and level this out of the 3v3 as a nade from Tri sails forward and dunks right on his head. Safe BRN and drop. Not going to continue this A offensive just yet. They'll elect to back away. And figure out what their next move is up the ladder. But Try is right on the other side. They have to be silent. 
or try has all the information sound wise no noise been made just yet over towards middle they go try may hear pin pulled if anything is thrown utility wise but it looks like it's a dry take that was a dangerous lineup there between brn and safe but the scent he's in middle he gets chased away incendiary out to stall the push 23 seconds to go mibr have to move smoke out towards elevator flash in and molly towards ct Vinny back pillar he's got eyes on the problem and he'll shut down the first in comes a swing from another two from Vinny, but not the third safe no time to really plant this he'll try to run and the senti catches him from behind imperial two alive one of those with the ak Able to stymie this early streak from MIBR. No bomb plant. He's a bit of a broken buy for the T's, but they can still buy up nonetheless with Galils and AKs into round number four. Still find something to put on the table, that's for sure. And Sonny's gonna get a Mac 10, maybe a pistol, probably a Tech 9. Oh, a Deagle. He is known for his Deag, but I thought maybe running it down with a Tech 9 might be more to their style. Let him run it down with Deag. He'll still have fun to shot. It's true, that's true. He's the star. Vinny, though, the hero of that last round, doubling down from back of B with no utility and no support. Very well done from that anchor. Drill aren't out of the woods yet either because they lost three players. They have next to no money saved, so they lose this round. They are similarly in a bad spot, especially with Exit again opening things up. A double, flash. no response, and a good flash as well. Yeah, utility for Made in Brazil already looking quite punishing. Drops in a good spot for that Tech 9 too on the scaffolding, just hoping for that headshot. Try edging around the corner, not going to overextend. Knows that since his team is down two players, he can't really afford that. He's hearing all of this noise. Drop still holding the line. More flames flying through for the T side. Now Try begins to make his move. Drops all down the timing. He'll flash in. And maybe even pushing himself. The Senti, a double from triple stack. As Exit gets his third of the round. Try taken down low, but not eliminated. This Vinny helps him out too. Exit has to do it all now. Spotted. Tagged from behind. And now there's a flank. It's heard Try on the run around. Exit isolates Try, but he cannot hit the shot. Three is all he finds. An Imperial. Will strike back with two in a row of their own and tie things up early in map one. The first round of this oh, this closed qualifier for Intel Extreme Masters Rio. And Imperial now a chance to build up some money, stabilize that economy, which is still in its fledgling stages. It's still struggling to get any traction under the wings, any lift, I should say. Semi BR now on Glocks and nothing but. Should be a third on the board for the CT side. Here we'll get that second, they break the economy. Now they should have some breathing room, some well-earned breathing room at that. This one pretty clean, four minimum standing. That's what you want, that's the goal. Ideally all five, build up that CT economy. And from there, you can actually begin to take over this first half. Keep in mind, this is a map that they have played against each other four times, head to head. Every single series they played since I think March was the stat. They've played a Vertigo map in there, and it has been won every single time by Made in Brazil. With Exit hitting shots as he is, it doesn't surprise me. He's been a menace, a monster. Famas up close, good for two. No way. Peeking out, a bit chaotic. The Flash blinds him and does him in. Try. Gonna put this one to bed, though. Let's be careful, though. Famas could do him in. No, he spots the head through the wall. He'll get it done. Imperial, establish a lead. Early on, 3-2, to two, but they still lost a pair of players, which is quite unfortunate given the fact they were against literal Glocks. Ideally, like I said, you want one player at most falling. Mm -hmm. Three alive will let you build up a bit of an economy on the CT side slowly, but they definitely would have loved a bigger injection of cash into the coffer. Yeah, because they're still not in a great spot. Vinny at 2,300, Decenti at 4,500, only two players who are over the danger zone of 2K. No way has 200 try and Phelps around the $1,500 mark. It's not a great spot for Imperial still. That might be our still nipping at the heels of the CTs. However, a clean win from Imperial here would do a lot for their economy, for their confidence, and for this half. And one thing to note too, the previous meetings between these two teams on Vertigo, 13-4 and 13-6... 13-4 being the most recent, again, as you mentioned, in favor of Made in Brazil. Imperial, 
few rounds away from tying that up. They get most of their rounds in Vertigo on their CT side in general. Significantly more, about an 81% win rate on the defense versus 27.8 on the offensive. That's the real problem for Imperial right now. They need a huge lead on the CT side if they want any hope of taking this down according to the statistics here. Smoke goes down over towards a ramp as no way debates the spray. He'll think better of it and retreat. MIBR taking their sweet time, and I think they're falling into that sort of really late explosive take right now that we talked about in the pre-show. The late explosive take, trying to just starve their enemies of information. You can tell Imperial are kind of just still defaulting. They didn't go for information, so they're forced to spread out as they would normally. And Brazil going to try to exploit that. Spotting middle. Contact play from Insani. It's the information. Forces Decenti away. It is going to be a B split. It has been read right. He's gone the correct direction. But now his teammates need to fold into the back line. Insani drops the first. No way a good trade. And Decenti holds down B, at least for the time being. 15 seconds thereabouts left. And they haven't even put the bomb on site. BRN one, but Senti another. Safe. Cracks open one. But it's answered in kind by Vinny. And try holding the back line. Ready for the flank from BRN. Gets the kill. Four in a row for Imperial, another costly one with three falling, but they still stand tall. They still continue to endure, and at this point, Made in Brazil kind of left scratching their heads. Maybe in the next rifle round, they should talk things out with attack timeout. Oh, they're going to do it now on the pistols. I guess they're thinking, hey, we got a couple of kills with the U.S. or the Glocks, rather. Might as well see what we can do with some techs. They have a bit of armor behind this buy as well. Four tech nines. Will we get five? Safe. Might be saving for the op as well. He does love that big green gun of his. But it might be a bit premature for the timeout. I'm with you. I mean, Nate, out of the years we've worked together, how many times have we talked about our philosophies on the timeouts going for rifle rounds and not pistol rounds? I feel like we've said that a few times. A hundred, maybe. Ad nauseum. There's one thing that I will never change my opinion on, and it's that. Especially now that there's only three per game. Yeah, three per game. You really need to talk out your rifle rounds specifically. You don't have a lot of time either. Keep in mind, like, it's MR12 now, not MR15. So those rifle rounds become all the more dire, all the more consequential. So yeah, curious call, but we'll see what happens. Made in Brazil, maybe an interesting pistol play being called. Maybe that's their strategy in mind. Exit. He slowed down quite a bit. He was at five kills, I think, three rounds ago. Not found one since. Throwing a bit of a fake over towards A. Meanwhile, a lot of players are pushing middle. Three here, all with... Actually, there's two with Tex, one with an AK. Safe one for the hero rifle. Not saving for that op like you might have surmised earlier. Ooh! One spot from both teams, but safe is the one to behead Vinny. A big kill to find, but the rifle is not recoverable. It's been sent off the map. Only one man advantage. Still a lot of time to work with. They have to make a decision. That's a really good read from safe to expect the counter there. In fact, he wins that duel. Massive for MIBR. Gives him a lot of space to work with. They still have to find the last four rifles around for Imperial. Minimal utility for that CT side. A couple of nades, a couple of four, one flashbang, one molly, and one smoke. That smoke used now. Try over on the catwalk. I love the way this plays with the catwalk. I think it adds a lot more fluidity to the map, into the A holds, into the A retakes, into the A hold, uh, takes as well. Try has been spotted though. Tech nines force him back. No way trying to peek through elevators. Try falls around him. No way good for one, but he runs out of ammunition on the second trade here from Phelps. But the bomb has been gone, has been planted, and Phelps now moving through elevator as a chance to backstab if he clears his left corner. He does not, however. And he will find his maker soon enough. Spotted now by safe and eliminated Dooley. Decenti, last one standing. Can he find something here? Does not have the kit. Drops on the angle. Peeks out. Gets the dink as well. That should send Decenti packing. Although I don't even know if he'd be able to save. They're going to span through yellow. Try to take him down. He'll display the spoiler. And be successful with one. BRN will be fine here in the back corner, if it even goes off, which it doesn't. And so MIBR, timeout into the pistols here, and it works. It wasn't the most crazy strategy, but they just reset mentally, I think, and got back into it. Now look what they've done. They forced Imperial to counter with a timeout of their own on a very awkward economic situation. Very awkward, but it looks like they're going to force into it regardless. 
that in Brazil might just tie things up in round number eight. Another thing I didn't really do some research on until just now, Boggs, was the fact that these teams haven't played since April. Yep. And while they have, while Made in Brazil have one clean sweep Vertigo in every single series, that was old Vertigo, not and new Vertigo. Back in April, just over four months ago now, or three months ago, I should say. A long time ago, yeah, and also old map. Yep. You said you like the changes over on the catwalk on the side. I'm not a big fan of Elevator, I won't lie. Elevator, I agree with, but I like the catwalk a lot. I think there needs to be like a, like a, honestly, if you just take the sight box, the triple stack from Mirage, and just put it in the middle of Elevator, maybe it would work. Yeah, because there's no cover inside. It's just a giant open area. A lot of angles in this corner, so that's it. We're back I mean, in. Granted, there shouldn't be any pallets if you're thinking game lore wise in the middle of the elevator area. But if they're just building something, you know. The slow one and the buy from Imperial is very similar to Made in Brazil's investment in the round prior. One hero rifle, a couple pistols. It's more bare bones than Tech 9s with just a pair of P250s. But the similarities are still there. Minute 15 left in the round. Made in Brazil just slowly poking and prodding, trying to get a, a read on the investment. They do know at least a couple players are on pistols. But have they sussed out the rifle of Decenti? That's my big question. If they choose to go towards B, that rifle could be a nasty surprise for Made in Brazil. Looks like they're gathering for that A pop, though. Molotov over to side hall to eliminate any possible 5 7 lurking around the corner. You don't want to run into that. It's an ugly decision or an ugly time for anybody on the T side. Phelps is caught as he tries to peek over exit. Scales forward, sprays down one, continues his push towards heaven. The Sentis rifle comes through, but it's only good for one as Vinny falls in the meantime to Insani, leaving just try in the one versus four. He's just playing for gun or pride, and he shall have neither. As Exit watches it, spots the gun disappear from the ground, knows exactly what the game is. Four the shadow to four too. now. Shot the shadows, how the gun go away. Those work lights really do give off some serious shadows. They've added on to both Vertigo and on Ancient. And yeah, I'm no, still cave. not sure how I feel about it. I kind of like it. I think shadow should be a, a big factor. Also, a very it looks very pretty in this game. It does look nice. Now, if I can figure out what's going on with subtake, that'd be great. Yeah, if they can figure out all the other stuff, be awesome. Rifles for both teams, but very lackluster utility and an early duel taken towards B. Descenti drops. Sentis dropped by drop, actually, excuse me. He's at a paltry 15 now. This op needs to be very careful. Safe is in that side hall on the scaffolding, tucked in and unknown. Imperial should know it's a possibility, but will they respect it? That's the bigger question. Phelps, holding a pixel angle, the op above, trying to find something. Let's try. Again, that new addition we talked about 12 days on the roster officially. And he really didn't get to break into his stats too much, but try... 79.8 cast bogs. Almost 80% cast, which is unreal. It means he's having impact in 80% of the rounds played. That's absolutely nuts. Ooh! Tag onto safe, but Try gets beaten back. However, the damage absorbed by MIBR, incredible. Damage sponges for two players, and now one of their full HP players drops to the ground. A dink onto Insani, who's able to find one. The nade following up will not strike a dirt. The Molotov forces no way away, but safe and drop the combined 27 HP. Should not be able to find anything but a save at this point. No time, no real space. Imperial going to keep their heads above water for now. That op of try, good for the opening. But it's just the sheer amount of damage absorbed by the players in MIBR that really go against them when it comes down to the take. Because if drop isn't taken down to 15, if safe's not taken down to 8, they could probably still go for that situation. Not exactly a high percentage, but they have a much better percentage of at least taking a couple more guns out of the hands of Imperial, maybe getting a bomb plant. And that makes it worth it given how free the TZ economy is. Does make it worth it that extra bit of damage. You hamstring them when you can. No way on an MP9. 
At least there's utility to use in this round, though. Imperial were sorely lacking it in the round prior. Good flash try. Barely misses the mark off raw intuition alone. It's over towards B now. A migratory op is a very dangerous prospect for Made in Brazil to tangle with. Full AKs. We still have not seen that op from safe. Makes sense on Vertigo. It's a very difficult weapon to wield on the T side in general. And even more so when you're trying to pick up the speed on a map like Vertigo. Spotted on the pixel angle, finally Phelps' angle bears fruit. Big one to find and a free one. We can now reposition. Try has come back across the map as well and tagged his counterpart safe down to 32. Minute left in the round and mid Brazil are kind of waffling between potential options in round number 10. The B pop on the cards as Vinny looks set to send them packing once more. Has a little bit of help from Descent, even Vinny's been very good on this anchor position. However, he is dropped by Drop, who has to fill Exit's shoes with the entry work. No way comes through, mowing him down with the MP9. A great flash coming through from Phelps over towards the far side, blinds everyone on entry. And safe now, last man standing, almost no hope of even an exit kill. Mode not mowed down by the flying, no way. I thought he would have had two shots for sure. It's Descenti's last bullet in the mag that finishes off safe in the end. Half at least tied here for Imperial with a chance to grow a little bit more heading into half number two. MIBR forcing into the penultimate of the half. A couple of AKs, BRN and Sonny and exit. Will they go all in as well? Deagle half. Okay, so it's going to be two hero AKs. A Deagle and Glocks? BRN's got a Glock in arm. Oh, he's going to pick up a fall. Oh, that's what Exit and BRN are doing. They're going to recycle. Yep, they're going to recycle here. It makes a little bit, that makes a lot more sense given the situation. And Phelps might actually give him a free M4. If he goes too far forward, if he gets too big for his britches, he will be destroyed. It does a lot of damage, but the problem is the damage it did was the unarmored and Sonny on a Deagle. Now on a Glock. He's dropped that over to BRN, who's already recycling secondaries. Makes sense, right? Yes, it does. Slow re -aggress. They want that rifle. Try knows it. Across. Spots the jump. Does in Insani. That's the right player to send across at 11 HP. Now, Made in Brazil will slowly saunter up the ramp. Op still here. Now towards the side hall. Senti's already flanked. He's locked them in. Imperial know exactly what's going to happen. The question is when and in what fashion. Vinny. Top of the spools here. Really seeing over the smoke. Good spam, good information, good kill on the safe. Slowly whittling away the remaining offensive. No way of close one and one. That's all he needed. But BRN is trying to bail them out a double before being silenced. Just exit the last alive. He picked up the M4. He still has two to worry about. He has no idea about this flank from Descenti. Not that it'll matter. Try puts him to bed from below heaven. Three kills for the opera in that round. He is Rocketed to second place in terms of frags. Senti at top 11. On the side of Made in Brazil, you two at nine. That's safe and exit. Drop though. Some struggling is at only five. Sonny at six as well. It's not where you wanted Sonny to be. He is the star for this team. Yeah. There really hasn't been enough of that star power from Insani. BRN's another solid player. Safe hasn't gotten his off on the CT side yet, but it just hasn't been explosive enough from this MIBR squad, especially on their T side. Exit's had a lot of success, and he's had nothing else. He's had no help. He's opened up so many rounds for Made in Brazil and had to close them out as well. And you have to feel for the guy. He's an entry. He's not supposed to be trying to clutch up a 2v, a 1v2 after getting three kills. Although drop now with the first kill on towards Vinny. That's a key piece removed from the CT side. Phelps drops down, tries off, hits one. And Descenti now out in the open, strikes on the safe. 
Exit and Insani, two players that need to have a good round of Imperial are to stay off of eight. No utility for these two remaining MIBR players. Phelps getting a little bit better of an angle around double. Around triple, excuse me. Exit just around hoping for a push, but Imperial are too disciplined to give them that. MIBR. Looking a little shaky here on map number one. Their pick with Mirage is map number two. One of Imperial's best, if not their best map. A map that hasn't been changed in eons since 2018. Yeah. They haven't the opened bench. an elevator on that map, so. Yeah. 20 seconds. Jump cross one trade, but Decenti reigns it in. An 8 4 half for Imperial. We'll see you after the halftime break. All right, we're here, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of a stuttering on the uh, transition, but we are in the game and we've not missed any of the action. It's Pineapple Phillips and Boggs. We're talking through. And Imperial, a statement of a first half. Eight rounds to the four of Made in Brazil. Maybe the bastion of Made in Brazil finally toppling. Be a big one for Imperial to find. It would give them... Some great prospects in this series. Keep in mind, they haven't played since April, these two teams. But of the four times they've played in the last six months or so, it has been won by Made in Brazil three of the four times. 
Slow-ish for made or for uh, Imperial, excuse me, on this T set. It boosts it up one. It's gonna be a pop in towards B. Anti-flash for one. Drop gets one, drop gets two on the duel. And Sonny, another third. The split has been dismantled. The last alive is Vinny. He was on the stairs and he has been beheaded by another pair of duelies. Four, if I'm not mistaken, between the two sets of pistols. An explosive shutout for mid in Brazil to try and chip away at the lead established by Imperial. That's both pistols won by Made in Brazil. And they've both been very clean. The only thing is, Made in Brazil have done nothing with that first pistol round. And even still, they're down by three. So, even if they do get the maximum amount of post-pistol rounds on the board, which in this case would be four, they're still in a tight ball game. Safe. He has the one on the MP9, building up some money. Three, and not quite four as he runs out of ammunition. He goes back for the quad, but he is dropped by the Glock of Vinny in the end. Exit and drop for the last. Four alive here for Maiden Brazil, but Imperial wanted to go for the save because they needed the AKs in the third of the half. Utility might be a bit sparse across the T side. They're going to be going for headshots, calling names, and taking them hopefully. Galil for Vinny. Only one player without a helmet on Maiden Brazil. That's safe. Two kits for the CTs as well. Good to note. Plenty of utility. AKs have to shine here and now for Imperial. So far, so good, as No Way wins the dry fight against Insani. It's a dry fight for both teams early. No Way was kind of alone. He had a player ready to throw utility if needed, but both were isolated. It's all on the aim, and that's a fight that Insani doesn't often lose. Again, a slow first map for the star of Made in Brazil. A worrying prospect looking forward and further ahead in this series. Slow one, though, after finding the first. Now Imperial just slowly prod around the map, look for information, maybe draw some rotations from an over-eager made in Brazil. It looks like B is going to be the name of the game. Three... On the stairs, and two in middle for a split try. Kulin is the clean entries as well. Second player back, Jet is flash. There's actually two players here. Exit through the smoke finds one, but try claps right on back. A headshot found. He's looking for his third in the round as well. Tagging safe down low. This should be a save at this stage for Made in Brazil. A player's running down a ramp, actually walking, I should say, and safe on half HP is trying to survive, trying to hang on to bring an M4 into the next. But Imperial are already hungry. They want to punish the CT side. They want to destroy, to upend this economy. But they won't commit everything. They'll just wait. Bide their time until later in the round. Safe and BRN. Looking for safe haven. Some space. The hunt doesn't really begin until right before the bomb goes off. Safe. Looking for Vinny. Vinny gets the kill. A 180. Finds him. The last alive is BRN. It looks like he'll survive. No one's close enough to challenge him at bottom ramp. No one knew he was around that location, so he will get to bring his rifle into the following. And in result, probably going to cobble something together or perhaps actually go for the safe call and go for an eco round. Some upgraded pistols being brought through. And Sonny, his classic Deeg exit on the 5.7. I'm a big fan of that pistol. P250 for drop and a 5.7 for safe to match the like of exit. 6 to 9. Very nice scoreline for Imperial. As they are in the driver's seat and only five or four rounds away, excuse me, from closing out this first map. The boost has to pay massive dividends up top for BRN. Phelps and Vinny have not cleared it yet, but it has been used by Imperial, so you have to expect they'll be somewhat ready for it, although Vinny using that smoke as good cover. Creeping forward, Phelps now clearing out towards side. Caught out by BRN, but both players exchanging broadsides. Tagged it down just slightly. 11 and 15 HP lost, respectively. Vinny over in sandbags, though, is not expected. BRN goes for another boost, and this time Phelps is caught unawares. 
If at first you don't succeed, try, try again, as the saying often said. The counter to that is the definition of doing something over and over again and expecting a different result is insanity. Try, however, tap down to 1 HP on the spam. A little unlucky. And right now, Imperial looking like they're going to fall victims to pistols again here. Safe. Drops down that low HP try with the 5-7. And BRN on that hero rifle strikes again! Make it three! It's just Vinny alone in a one versus five. I've seen him get aces before. Usually shotguns on nuke back ramp on against the Nico, and he finds nothing. Blindsided by BRN. And so, MIBR another hero rifle victory here. Very good results from them on the weaker weaponry. They just have to translate that success into the gun rounds. And much like when MIBR had that little glimmer of success after the lead swapped over to Imperial, Imperial call a timeout right back to stop the bleeding, apply the tourniquet, and turn things around. I recently learned how to use a tourniquet. They're very uncomfortable. Imperial, second timeout used. It is going into a rifle buy. Try is going to be on a hero deagle. Everybody else has AKs. Good utility. And is that not... You said two hero rifle rounds for Mid-Rizzle. So yep. virtually two half buys one. Both pistols one. And they're still trailing by two. Yep. They've lost exceptionally often on the rifle rounds. They won the first two rounds of both halves. Mm -hmm. They've won two ecos. That's six rounds. And here's the thing, Tune. They still haven't gotten an op for try. Still haven't gotten the op for try on this side, yeah. It's not actually a deagle, which is a secondary op. Flurry of dinks through the wall into Insani, finally forced out by the Molotov. Vinny made it down, so it's tit for tat. And now safe through the smoke, brings it back into the CT's favor. Four versus three. And that flank is expertly waited for by drop, covering his teammates' back lines, getting the kill, furthering the lead. No way, heading for the hills. He knows there's no way into that site. It is a defense, a bastion, in which made in Brazil wait. No way, back towards T spawn. Gonna look at some of the decorations on the map, perhaps some coffee cups. Is that a pizza box and a helmet? I think Maybe. It is. Which I there. hope there's some left because I'm still kind of hungry. I'm very hungry, actually. Yeah, I had some pizza before this one started, but I could go for some more if they want to share. I don't think there's any. Oh, it's yeah, it's a pizza. Well, one's open. Two of them. It's close to. Yeah. I wonder what there kind might of pizza be some it is. Left. I don't know. All right. Favorite kind of pizza, since we have some time. Favorite kind of pizza? That's a hard question. I okay. Just eat whatever's there. Oh, oh. Narrow it down to a style of pizza. So, like, deep dish, New York, thin crust, Neapolitan, wood fire. I rarely have deep dish, but I love deep dish. I love a good deep dish, too. It could just be that I don't have it enough. You know, maybe if, I, if it was more available to me, then perhaps it would lose its luster. But I know, like, in the Bay Area around uh, California, there's a it's Zachary's Pizza, known for their deep dish. So good. So good. It's not too greasy. Man, now I really want some Zachary's. <laughs> I had a really good deep dish in Chicago when I was younger. And that I think that's sense. maybe a little bit of nostalgia, but it was freaking good. But for Imperial... Round concluded. We're yeah. back in the action, finally. Not Imperial, too good for them. No, they had those two saved rifles. No money in the bank for them because they saved. And a half by a round... And Brazil might tie things up at a critical juncture. This game isn't over yet. There's four AKs for the CT side to make things all the more difficult for the attackers. There's a nice opening kill from No Way onto BRN. Getting a little over aggressive, perhaps, as MIBR trying to tie this one up a nine apiece. The AK finds one. As well, the rest of the D's and no way strikes again. Traded out by Exit, who doubles up. But the Deagle of Phelps transitions into an AK 3v2. Bomb is down on a ramp. Phelps will throw a smoke before he grabs it. We'll have to be careful 
are they not going to grab the bomb? Are they just ignoring the bomb? Okay, there he goes. But Insani out in the open does go one for one, leaving drop in a one versus two. This is winnable for Maiden Brazil. The problem being, Nate, the advantage they came into firepower-wise into this round. They should not be down a man here. It should not be a 2v1 hold for Imperial with AKs. Granted, one has no armor. No, but it was a save. A huge mountain to climb. Two hero rifles that were scavenged from the round prior and pistols. There should be no way for them to get this. Tremendous lapse from Made in Brazil to allow it to get to this stage. Drop, trying to just isolate something, anything, to give them a way into the site to a 1v1. But it's not given. Imperial tiptoed their way on their site. They dodge, drops, advances. So he'll be forced to capitulate the round. Give it up. And Imperial hold on to their lead as a result. Still only two rounds separating these two teams, but... half by slash desperate hero rifle situation for Imperial. I don't even know what to call their economy in that round. Yields a tremendous round. And now we get an opera's duel here. Safe has one for the first time in this map. And Try has his for the first time in this half. Have not seen what we needed to out of Insani. You called him out in that first half, Nate. He ended with what, about eight kills? I think eight, yeah. Actually, I think he had six. He got two kills on pistol. He got one last round. Yeah, that would be mm -hmm. right. He had six kills in the first half. Three now. In the second. As Imperial three rounds away from taking the map pick of MIBR, a map they have not beaten Made in Brazil on in recorded history. So, could be a big turnaround for Imperial. Mirage is map number two. Their individuals have showed up well. Dissentian try, but they've gotten good support from No Way and Vinny when required. MIBR needs someone to step up. They need it badly. And their problem, too, has been when somebody has stepped up to the plate, the majority of the time, it's been too little with no support at all. It's been individuals. We need a, at least a core to step up. One's not going to cut it. It's Ani. An opener at long last. We're at 35 seconds left in the round, and the Pure really haven't done anything. They've swapped over last second for her B hit. One player splitting from middle. That's no way. He's shown some presence. Got a kill. Traded it back to a four versus four at least. Safe. I have to put his foot down quickly to rebuke this take. Does he have support? Yes, it has rotated in. The Cavalry's here. Bomb is now going for the cross. Good dodge on the flash. Gives safe an opening. One kill secured. Exit top. The smoke finds a second. Insani a third. The trap has been closed in around Imperial. The last alive is Try. He'll try his darndest to save his op for the following. It looks like he'll be successful in that endeavor at least. Yes, he will not be challenged. Op oh, stays in hand. 10 to 9. As made in Brazil, clap right back. Keep this even. Keep this contentious in the opening map of the series. Last time out used by Imperial. At a critical juncture as well. Are they going to force around the op? Are they going to try to put their foot down now? That is the question. No way did it at least suggest going for an AK, but he's already sold it back. Nope, he's reinvested again. Galil. I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> Looks like Galil's going to be dropped you. over to Decenti. It's going to be a half buy. Yeah, they're going to no half around the up, I guess. Hard sell, but it can it can happen. It would need a miracle. Absolute miracle here. Let's see. P250, one smoke, one Galil, two P250s, an op. And the op is going to have to be the tip of the spear. Safe will take his trials in towards mid. Is he ready to face them? That's the question that will be answered shortly as it looks to be a train of players through middle from Imperial. Again, no flashbang to force away an op. Safe has to retreat, however, as he's made contact and... His shot does not hit a mark. 
Phelps tagged out a little bit on his B ramp peak, but Nop continues its escapades and it strikes out of no way. Now Phelps can fall to Insani, who dropped down. Played around the smoked bottom B stairs. Safe. Forced away, but he might still go for a repeat. Exit comes through from Elevator. And MIB are not going to let it bring him down right now. Is there a couple of kills away from tying this up at 10 apiece? And Imperial have expended all three of their timeouts in this map. Glock and up. No armor. Maybe not even a kill. Vinny needed that one. Got the dink too late. No ways off shot misses. P251 and only one, presumably. The nade bounces off the ventilation, drops back down. So he'll just wait out his inevitable demise sooner or later. It will come. They won't let him escape. Not with this op. If they wait till after time, that's a big brain play, and I hope they do it. No way he's not going to let that happen, though. He's going to force the issue. At least get a kill on the way out. He's gotten a second. P250 and op combining for two. Actually, I like this idea. He pushes out. He tries to force them back. Either die before time or push them back. And then I thought he was going to save. I thought he'd go back in the corner with the space he didn't give it and try to survive. But no. He'll run into BRN. Run into the flames. And fall before time. Ten apiece. Beta Brazil and Imperial tied up neck and neck. At a very late stage in this opening map. Keep in mind it's a best of three. And also... We didn't mention it, Boggs, but every game in this close qualifier is being broadcasted. The other game, was it Red Canids versus Pain? Uh, yeah, Pain, Red Canids there over on ESL's DSB with Fi and Exner. And they'll have the lower matchup here between these two. So the loser of this match, the loser of that other match. Once this one, these two conclude, and we'll have the winner's matchup right here where you find us right now. So you don't have to go anywhere. You can stay right here, or have both up. Both is good. In the command center, 20 streams up. Watching it all. It's the ideal. If your internet four. can handle 20 streams. Internet can handle everything. Locked into the mainframe. Phelps is on three HP. Precarious spot, but on paper, we're at even footing. Four versus four. Smoke middle for a cross in towards B. The op jumping up doesn't respect the boost. No way gets a big kill on the safe. Second frag for this team. Drop now on the back of side. Has to come in big. An AK, an unwieldy spray is only good for one. Good spacing and trade from Decenti. That's the B site taken. And plant now secured. And Sonny looks like he's toying with the idea of going for it, but his teammate exits across the map. Probably just going to go for exits unless he can find a kill early on. Actually, no. Exit is doubling back. Perhaps a chance. Perhaps a try at getting back into this round. But no, they're actually going quite slow. Looks like exits the call. They need damage. Want to keep this T side economy low. There's the op down. I think it'll be carried over by Phelps, though. He should be fine. If he lives. And... Yeah, he's good. And Sonny will live as well. And the money's okay for MIBR, and Sonny can drop that over and get a... himself an M4 again, but instead he'll hold on to it, get an extra belt of utility, and see what else. They have the money for an op. Well, on MIBR, but they don't go for it. Instead, they elect to stay with the rifles. Interesting as the op hasn't really had too much impact for them. A couple of kills here when they did have it out a few rounds ago, but it has not been something that has made all the difference. So why keep going for it? Tries had some decent success with his as well, but as, again, not a spectacular, sparkling show. No. Stop and ops taking over this game. Which it's Vertigo, which is kind of understandable. The op is probably not going to take over the game. We're expecting a bigger show on Mirage. For sure. Or if we go to the third map, Nuke. Yes. Specifically, Nuke, I think is going to be an op make or break map. If Insani can wake up, 
And we can see the op ring through. If Insani wakes up, they might not even need it, though. That's the thing. That's a good point. Very slow, very scared. Utility being thrown, trying to find the opening. Something that either team can exploit. Made in Brazil, not going for characteristic aggression, just running their default as you would. Don't want to give an opening to Imperial. He's not for free. Bulk of this T side is looking to go up the ramp. Utility slowly clearing out the close angles. In Brazil, how many do we have here? Three, it looks like. One side, one elevator, one jump up. Yeah, no, they've left to go alone. Yeah, no way. It's going to slowly slink in. That lurk has been ever present and ever a thorn in the CT side. BRN has slipped the gap. He's gone through. No way. Catches Insani. A second kill as well went the way of Imperial. Vinny drops safe. And it was a very heads up flank potentially. Now has to do it all. BRN one, BRN two, drop. Felled by Phelps. But BRN is at least doing something. Looking for the flank of his own. The shadow betrays him. The flanker outflanked by no way. And map point secured for Imperial again. This was the safe map for Made in Brazil. It's the map they've won every single time these teams have gone head to head. And yet it's about to fall as the opening map in this best of three. Well, they have one more buy, one more potential play here. It's MP9s on four, five, seven on exit. Zero defuse kits, Nate, and this brings more than a tear to my eye. Brings my twitchy eye to full front here. And, well, it might not even matter. As Decenti catches Insani through the smoke. There's still one more round, and Decenti's ready for this possibility as well. Drop down on the landing. He's going to get help from up top, too. But there's another potential kill for Decenti here. As he continues to lurk solo around the beast there. As he's expecting drop, and he reads it perfectly. A picture book, but not quite the third. Plenty of damage onto safe, as no way clears up middle. Three left standing. Phelps singes a little bit in the flames. Counter utility being tossed in. The nade. Phelps oh. is just having a field day with his utility today. And he'll have even more of one as he is toppled by BRN. Try there to trade. 3v2. 5-7. AK for MIBR, half HP on safe again, no kit. The bomb has not yet crossed to sight. Smoke will go down to guys off the cross. As Vinny leads the charge, no way, jumps over, now gets that down to dirt. HP still favoring Imperial, although Vinny a bit wounded. No way, down to 63 HP, safe and exit group up. Smoke fading, safe opportunity. Line up here, but he comes up empty-handed. And so exit in a one versus three, it's not to be. 13-10 for Imperial on the map pick of MIBR. And the point we have made a few times now, the map pick of Made in Brazil, one they have not lost to Imperial yet or had not. I Bugs, he's Pineapple Phillips. This is the Intel Extreme Masters Rio closed qualifier for South America. We have map number two coming up, and it's a very good one for Imperial. It's a very solid one. But I think we're directly into the map. It is Mirage, a map that has not changed in recent memory. A map that is very solid, as I said, for Imperial. The pregame discussion was very much about Made in Brazil winning their map pick, Imperial winning their own, and yet Made in Brazil have already thrown a spanner into the works by losing their map pick. We'll see if they can recover on Mirage. It's a map that everybody knows, yet Imperial are the experts on it. Pistol, P side for Imperial. Their map pick, they have to start on the harder side of two. They're just racing forward very comfortable on this map. A split into A. Even trades thus far broken, never mind, by Safe, who is traded in kind by Descenti at range. BRN, though, quick on the rebuttal, leaving just Vinny. The bomb at his feet, picking away the pair against him. And BRN does have a kit for this Made in Brazil defense as well. Gives him some extra time to work with. Spot comes in, Glock does not connect, neither does the USB. They'll swing together, and they won't even require a pair. It's just BRN to get the final kill outright, and the defuse to boot. Ada Brazil starting things off right, a necessary start. And with that, they are actually three and zero on pistol rounds, like sweeping them thus far in the series. 
Yeah, three and zero oh on the pistol rounds, but zero oh and one in the map score line, and that's the real score that matters, Nate. Nobody cares about the shot count. Nobody cares about rebounds or field goals if we're talking basketball terms. Nobody cares about expected goals if we're talking about football. All that matters is who won the game at the end of the day. And right now, Imperial have the lead on the big numbers. They're going to go for the force here as well with that bomb down. Scout for try. Galil's on three, AK on one. Decenti does not don a helm. So he is vulnerable to the one tap from anything but the MP9 here. But try drive by with the scout out mid. And Insani continues his struggles. And that is not going to be a good confidence booster for him. Absolutely obliterated on the initial peak there from try. And so. There's a man advantage for Imperial. BRN has not recovered that M4 out in window. Might even be kind of suicidal to try and get it back, and B. Aaron's nowhere near anyways. He's up towards apartments. The solo holder on B now, up close and personal with the MP9. As A is all but abandoned. It's a retake setup here from MIBR. They're going to start moving towards Ticket, but there's a gap in timing here which Imperial could take full advantage of. Yes, they can. They're slinking out, clearing out all the close angles. They know at this point the site is clear. The exit know that they're on site, though. He probably heard that drop. Or hear the bomb tap. We try to stop it. Yes, he will. Vinny, though, already defending and ready. Double up, though, not expected. In the nick of time, drop drops two. Decenti finds another elsewhere, maintaining a tenuous advantage. It looks like Made of Brazil are still going to go for this. Back into the site they go. CT spawn, MP9, and M4. Control. There's a kit on the MP9. He's going to stick the defuse. Decenti's not respecting this, or is he? Swing out, doesn't get the kill. That's the defuse. The round stolen away by Made in Brazil. And Imperial not respecting the gumption of Made in Brazil. Not at all. Don't expect the hold, which is kind of insane considering the fact that it was not planted for anybody but the Palace player. Imperial are going to force back into this as they have a couple of guns saved, but Maiden Brazil just robbed Imperial. We're given the round just on its own. MIBR calling a timeout, too, I think goes to show just how they were not expecting to win that and probably have to settle things down a little bit, too, because they should not have been in a position to win that round given how things transpired in the round. So for Maiden Brazil... A bit of a break here early on that helps them significantly because this should be a tie game at one apiece. Imperial are going back into it with the rifles to try and turn this back into their favor. We'll see if that sort of haunts them as it moves through this map. It's still very early, but it's those little mistakes that add up and can lead to a big loss. Yes, it is. Can't let off the gas. They won their opponent's map pick in a surprising fashion, but they still have to win the series. Imperial. Already getting a humbling in round number two. Buren looking to pressure in apartments. Decenti is here to try to challenge, but he's stuck behind the smoke. Locked behind the smoke, I should say. Aid misses him. Slips the gap. Decenti. This is the time to get on top of Couch. Prays away. Does not hit the MP9 player, but Drop is here to support. Keep that space. And Buren... Still on the balcony. All top forces him away. That's her. Imperial are going for this B hit at this stage. Rotations have come through. Drop. Throwing some utility from the back lines. Hoping the smoke will land ahead of them. It does, but are they going to force the issue? Imperial. Are they going to go through? No. Stand back and forth. Instead, 50 seconds left, and Imperial are locked behind utility. Steady from Imperial. Now they begin to get a little bit more proby as they peek out towards Ticket Booth. Phelps makes contact, but isn't able to do any damage on the safe. Time is running out. Try is tagged, and now they're going to split into A from the looks of things. There's no way will be a human decoy out B. Flash from Vinny enables Phelps to finally get his first. There's no way to clear the balcony. It won't even matter. Mowed down by the MP9. Vinny has to plant the bomb. There's another player here towards Tetris. What a read by Vinny. He'll have enough time to plant it outside of default as well. 
but nice wide open plant will drop and the brn will have nothing to do with the rest of this round it's a save call for mibr and imperial this time able to claim the victory as it's too much of a distance for mibr to go for the retake and they also don't fancy their chances of making magic happen two in a row no they don't the reason Imperial were so eager and keen on forcing the issue, on forced buying into these scrappy rounds, was because they knew Made in Brazil's economy was low. And they have finally broken it, dropping BRN. No, it's not worth it. Not a two versus four. Sure, they have the kit, but they can't do it again. That won't be allowed by Imperial. So they'll save in the apartments. BRN got that upgrade from the MP9 to the Galil, at least. Drop passes M4. This is where Imperial could begin to run away with it. They looked hot on map number one. And now that they have the advantage and a win beneath their belt, they should get off the ground with at least another one, maybe two rounds. Actually, they should win this one and the following because this is a force buy and a scrappy one for Made in Brazil. I say that, but they did win two weird eco rounds in the last map. Yeah, they won two. Imperial won one. And theirs catapulted them to eventual victory on the map pick of Maiden Brazil. Phelps may be contacted out bottom middle as he continues to move on forward. Very mid-heavy default from MIBR. Two players over towards jungle. Will they expect the second though as Phelps gets the first? Exit falls to no way's hand. And Phelps is mowed down. There's two players he spotted. Nesenti has the one. Vinny hunting for the last in towards jungle. Somehow, and Sonny's still around. Vinny just waiting for the peak. Finally gets it. It's actually no way to get the finisher. And safe on a long rotation through T-spawn. We'll probably just hope for an exit here. Don't even think there's a recoverable gun available to him either. So we should see a tie ball game at two apiece with minimal to no more casualties for Imperial. And this is more along the lines of what at least I expected to see from Imperial on Mirage Nate, but also I feel like that second round, more of a flash in the pan, a blip on the radar, than anything to seriously be concerned about. Feels like it. I was wondering if Imperial might be frazzled, might be otherwise off kilter because of it, but clearly not. It's just business as usual. The 5-7 in Palace does get one who is standing still expecting the round to be done and dusted. But it doesn't save the AK. It falls in kind. Two apiece. Three survive for Imperial. That allows him to slowly build this T-side economy. And this round should further it as well, given the fact that Made in Brazil are going to be on a save. Probably a full save as well. Just USPs, maybe a flash or two for a pop-out middle. But next to nothing should be invested. Nice little run yeah. boost from no for Noah. You don't see that too often in CS2. It's a little bit more fickle than it was in Go. But it's well executed, and they'll take full advantage of it walking no way all the way through. Interesting to go this aggressive against nothing but pistols, as you would assume anyway. But they're taking this slow. They're not overextending. It's a very disciplined play from Imperial. I'm liking that a little bit of return fire. Does more damage to safe than he did on his full two mag spam through that smoke. And now Imperial are going to pop into a wide open B site. Get the bomb down. Lock this in. And get their first lead of map number two. The lock in this matchup. Get themselves a spot in the upper final to be played later today. Try and we'll farm a couple more. And the flank from Phelps only able to yield one. He's had a little trouble here for the last couple of rounds with the pistols. And the Senti will be the last one to find a kill in the round. There's that lead for Imperial. And the buy here for MIBR will be Sans AWP for safe. Also, Sans helmets for everybody from the looks of things. Don't need helmets. They know there aren't AKs. The question is, are we going to get a kit? And the answer is, strangely okay. enough, no. Is it strange, though, Nate? Safe has $800, so yeah, I'd say it's strange. Okay, that's a, that's a good point. But also, we've botched these teams how many times? We've watched them forget it, but never have I seen someone forget it while having 800 in the bank. Yeah, that's that's my a, biggest takeaway. It's more of an NA play right there. That is definitely an NA play. It's like, no, accidental is NA. Purposeful is SA. Ooh, Spamming the smoke. Dink? Lots of damage. Yeah, you got a dink 
and the kill, and Sonny through, does a lot of damage, can't get the kill, finally felled. It's a chaotic and scrappy one, top con. Both CTs are here, BRN trying to force the issue at bench, gets one, can't spray transfer, exits low and on stairs. Senti knows roughly where he is, but can he win the duel outright is the question, exit. Fades back through the smoke, wants to force Decenti to second guess everything. Decenti's not playing around. Uses that time wisely, gets the bomb, mm -hmm. puts it to the dirt. Now looks for the duel once more. Decenti's going to have to start thinking about CT. You see that little flick over towards Ticket. He knows now what's going on. Flashes himself. Exit still working. That spray reveals his position. The Decenti now knows all that he needs to. No kit for Exit. Decenti can play time. He does not know there was a lack of a kit. And he was not going to be too forced into an engagement as he peeks, though. Exit swaps to Util. Timing against him as Decenti, a call and collected 1v2. Incredibly poised there, doesn't panic at all. Uses that little bit of respite to go grab the bomb. Pushes back in, gets it down, no fuss about it. Make sure that starts ticking, make sure you at least secure that. What a play from him in the 1v2. Nice and disciplined, playing for time. Takes a confident peek once he knows where Exit is. And a hell of a series for him as well. Mm -hmm. Gets 20 kills in the first map, top of the board for both teams. And he's off to a fiery hot start here as well, winning that clutch. Eight kills already at the start of round seven. Made in Brazil back onto this weird scrappy half by with some upgraded pistols. And Burial definitely in the driver's seat, looking to get five, maybe six. Be a tremendous smothering first half on the T side. The last time these two teams met on Mirage was all the way back on the 15th of April. 13-10 victory for Imperial. An Imperial side who find the bulk of their success on the CT side of this map, Nate. No, this is not going to clear his corners. And that's why you clear your corners, kids. Try now, still between a rock and a hard place. He does have support from Palace, though, and that really cements the round. Big double from No Way. Decenti chiming in. Try as well, getting that last scrap. VR in the last. I think he was spotted earlier, given the fact he's been chipped down, but it might have just been a nade. Bomb planted. BRN again going for exits on a 5 7. Fifth round for Imperial. Just a, a note about the other game as well, Boggs. Payne did take the first map versus Red Canids 13 to 11. Another close one, as we said. We kind of set the stage, didn't we, in the pre show? All four teams, all very good. A 13 11, a 13 10 on maps one for both series is very solid and goes to show how good these four teams are for one spot at IEM Rio. Who wouldn't love to play at an IEM either? Who would? Who wouldn't? Here we go. Five to two. Made in Brazil. Finally, another full buy on the board. They have kits. They have the op. You mentioned safe didn't have it last time. This could be what he needs to get off the ground. He's had a very quiet start to this map, as has Exit, who was pretty solid on Vertigo. Imperial aren't going to let out the gas. It's an early lean towards A. Out the ramp, they already come. Exit being pressured early and caught by Phelps. Safe. Full trade. And Donny, top stairs just struggling. Spray doesn't connect at all. He's down to eight. Bomb has already crossed into the site. This is going to be a chaotic retake now for Made in Brazil. They have some utility, quite a bit of it, as a matter of fact. And Sonny down low, safe at about half HP. Might make them think twice about going for this retake, though. They have to hurry if they want to go for it. They've already lost drop as Try and Connector locks that angle down. BRN backing away. And just like that, MIBR raise the white flag. Safe will hold for exits. And Imperial may go for a bit of a tepid hunt. Try beginning to move in towards apartments. They have so much money. Oh, yeah. There's no reason not to go for a hunt for a couple of these players, Vinny in particular. Go on through, run it down, and... Terrorists win. 
Already those six rounds secured on the T side for Imperial. They're starting to put this into cruise control. Wide open highway. Great playlist on. Windows down. A nice 68 degrees outside, Nate. That's Imperial's life right now. Commit the cruise control. Go through the motions. No one on Maiden Brazil has been able to hold a candle to Imperial. No way again. In Palace, again, same angle. Smoke. Molotov and spam in, and again, it nets this time. BRN dropped. No way low, no way finished. Exit though. Only a short-lived victory. It's trades in, and that's all they need, Imperial, after finding the opening. Three versus two. Phelps and Vinny are low, though. Safe on catwalk with the op. Smoked off. At this point, it feels like it's going to be a save again. In a Brazil. Not risking anything. Trying to play safe, and it's just not working for them. It doesn't work for this region. They have to take risks. Imperial are playing a pretty good solid brand of Counter-Strike, though. They're not exactly playing the South American special name. And they're just having everyone show up when required. Try on the rifle. He's the opper. He's going to spray down safe his counterpart on the opposition, too. And get a free op out of it. Low HP on those last two players. Advantage was technically within my VR, although time was quickly turning it into an Imperial situation. But overall... The individuals of MIBR have been quiet. Been taking a nap. And Imperial are just here, ready to book themselves a spot in the upper final. Because all four of these teams want that one spot on land at an Intel Extreme Masters tournament, home soil, in Rio. Imperial is the team that looks to want it more right now. Because this should be a much more even matchup individually than it looks to be right now. It should be an even matchup. You know, we said maybe the first two maps could be streaky because they're just so heavily favored for one team or another, but even this is not what I was expecting. I was expecting something from Made in Brazil because we do say, you know, far better stats for Imperial on this map, sure. 10-2 and two oh, versus 1-3, yeah. and three. but this is still a Pug map. This is Pugger's Paradise. This is what you play if you're going to queue up in Mythic, for, league, for example, like Mythic League or, uh, or an FPL. This is what you're going to play. More often than not, it's this map. So the fact that we're seeing this kind of trouncing, it's a bit concerning for Made in Brazil. Match pause call. It looks like a technical pause this time around off the back of the tack. Here's some players typing away. Hopefully it's a brief one. We can glean some things from the, uh, from the investment of MIBR. Looking at it, we have an op still for safe. Couple M4s of Hamas, an MP9. So they're going to try their darndest. Again, I think right now, Made in Brazil is getting caught out in expected angles. They need to stop playing top balcony. They need to either play further back or stick a second player onto the site proper. Play where those Molotovs aren't going to clear you out. Because right now, it's just cookie cutter utility and raw intuition that are unseating those defenders. Yeah, I agree with you there, too. I feel like. There is to be some sort of map control taken across by MIBR, whether that be B, whether that be mid, whether that be an underpass mid drop into B, whether that be an A pop, a palace peak, something. They can't just keep playing the same old tried, and I can't even say true, Mirage CT sides because Mirage CT side has had to adapt. It has had to become more aggressive as time has worn on. And as the days go by, the water keeps flowing and Imperial are running over these angles, which they've seen for a decade and a half. We've seen for a decade easily. There's just nothing fresh from MIBR. And again, they go back to the same old, same old. The blood cat is at least interesting. It's already spotted though, and removed. Second player out, traded one for one, two for one overall. No ways out of apartments, although he does fall to BRN's MP9. BRN doing some good damage with that SMG throughout the course of this matchup. 
safe now down to a timing bit was De- with Decenti out on Palace. Trying to negotiate a way into sight while his teammates come up through. Connector exits a no man's land. Cannot help safe at all. Again, it all comes down to timing for the op at ticket booth. Will he spot the player towards Palace? Will he get spotted by CT? He's been spotted in Ooh. drive by by Decenti. Save call for X and BRN. Surely there's no way they get back into this. They can see something on that catwalk peak or into its jungle to stop the plant or delay it. And maybe they go for it. But the fact that the bomb has now gone down and there's no chance for them to spam catwalk, that should be cut ties with the round. Yes, it is. It's a smart to move two. to plant defaults there. It is. They came up con. They knew they were probably towards B. They knew at least one was there, I should say. This has been smoothest of sailings for Imperial. Keep in mind, they won that first map 13-10 in spite of looting, losing two anti-ecos and both pistols and both second rounds in each half. They're at 7-2 to two after losing, what, they just lost the two first rounds in this, this half? Of Mirage, that's it. They lost, they went down 0-2, and now they're up 7-2. Yep. And they shouldn't have lost that second round either. Yeah, that second round also should have been there. It should be 9-1 to one right now. Yep. Imperial, really showing us that they have it when it counts, in the rifle rounds. That's where they're succeeding most. Sure, it's concerning they're not winning pistol rounds. It's concerning their own three on those rounds, but... They're notoriously 50-50, and they're still making it work in spite of the early disadvantage. In spite, indeed, because they seem to be making their lives more difficult by losing these pistol rounds in quite spectacular fashion, although this one was a lot more close. It came down to a one versus two. No way goes one versus one out towards Underpass and, or Catwalk. And Phelps is just going to get taken down by BR, and he's starting to come alive a little bit more here at the tail end of the half. Almost wonder, though, if it's too little too late, as MIBR need two rounds to get to an 8-4, to four, which is still not great. Exit gets a nice freebie onto Descenti, who ends up trying to drop down the ladder and spray him. And so, Vinny and Tri will do what they can to do some damage. Plenty of money for Imperial. They won't hurt for a buy in the final round of the half. Tries Molotov, flushes and Sonny out. The flashbang keeps him alive, and he'll actually win that draw against Ooh. Try and Vinny. So there's the third on the board here for Maiden Brazil. But it comes after a string of eight in a row for Imperial. It's still a potential for a 9-3 half for the T side. It would be magnificent for them going into their defense. The 63.7% win rate. Doesn't get easier. It's an uphill battle from start to finish for Made in Brazil. They want to stay in this series. Key minus, not an elimination game. It's a double elimination bracket. This is the opener. The winner will play against the winner of Red Canids and Pain on this stream later today. And the losers will face off against elimination on ESL CSB. Early play towards B from both teams. Safe and drop dismantling the first two. Try on the op, trying to get back into it. At least recover the bomb, give them something to go towards A with instead. He will do so successfully after a delay. They're gonna force through it. They're gonna try to take the duel to them. BRN towards Van dodges the Molotov. Yes, support now rotating in. Phelps trying to lurk in ladder. Already has one to his name, but needs more. Exit is in middle, watching for this exact play. It's all on timing. But Imperial content with stopping in their tracks. And starving made in Brazil of information, hoping that doubt will sink into their minds. Plant the seed that eats away at the confidence of the decision making. And suffocates MIBR in this last round of the half. Phelps spots the player in comedy, loses that draw against Exit. Descenti coming up underpass, hears some noise, has tried behind him, still scoped in. I like the buddy system here from made in Brazil. There is a gap, particularly in bottom middle right now. Up they come. Elbow might have been spotted. Now the timing. The Senti now falling with trying a one versus three. To a one v two. Spots the second player, but he cannot get by exit. It's an eight to four half again in favor of Imperial. We'll see you after the break.
Beat in Brazil. Show us something in the dying embers of the first half, but is it enough? Four to eight, trailing by four, and on the harder side of Mirage. It's Pineapple Phillips and Boggs. Bring you the action. Imperial looking to put this series to bed. Keep in mind, they won that opening map 13 to 10. It was Vertigo. Started that off very similarly to this map. 8-4 lead, losing the pistol, and then fighting back and forth for a while, but getting across the line in the end when it mattered. Made in Brazil, what is the play on pistol this time around? Can they continue their streak of pistol round victories? It feels much needed. If they lose pistol round here, I feel like it may be curtains for this series. Yeah, they have to win the pistol, but Vinny and Phelps quick in succession. Here comes Vinny for another. Might be even going for a third exit in safe. Strike back with one apiece, but the Senti denies exit further success. And safe now into a one versus two. Would be a one versus three clutch if he's able to pull this one off. The Dooley's not exactly the best at this kind of range as he is stuck in towards bench now in jail, and he is locked up, sent down the river. And Imperial's first pistol round may be what could be the death nail in MIBR's upper bracket run. This road to IEM Rio. No buy, no plant for MIBR. A sure 10th for Imperial. Barring anything more than bizarre. An MP9, a UM, or an MP7, excuse me. Not used to seeing that. An a UMP for try. And the typical riflery for Phelps, Descenti, and No Way. No kit, though, for Imperial. And I can't exactly fault them this round. They should not be allowing a bomb plant here. No, they shouldn't. Maximize the weaponry. Give the longevity required for the rest of this half. The rest of this map. And match. Slow one for Made in Brazil, though. They're hoping Imperial get antsy, get aggressive... And while they have gotten aggressive, it's calculated. It's tempered. They're not just pressing for whatever they can. They just push two up middle. A bit risky versus pistols, but it definitely can work out. Especially when you're playing the buddy system like this. Finally comes in. Delayed play towards A just past the minute mark. Pop out of Palace with one throwing utility. No way gets one, no way gets two. Senti gets a third. Senti and Phelps close out the round. Succinct, clean, and no bomb plant allowed. Five stay alive, five stand tall. Imperial three away from closing out the series. Couple more here for Imperial, and they'll await the winner of Pain and Red Canids. Say K's about for MIBR. Decent amount of utility, but it's not great. No way we'll pick up a kit as it's a bonus round here for Imperial. Vinny and a try still on the SMG. Don't discount the UMP or the MP7 against armor. They can still do some damage here. Slow and steady. For MIBR, the nade might actually do some damage. Never mind. BRN reads. That smoke to perfection, perfectly timed headshot, and Vinny on that MP7 has nothing to say in this round. No way's already bailed out, and I think Imperial are going to concede this round, which is not a bad idea considering they have three rifles up. Might as well take that to the next, as the CT economy is so fickle. No reason to throw these guns away. No, there isn't. Let the UMP go for maybe an exit or two. Same with the FAMAS, less than ideal weaponry. Just do some damage to Made in Brazil and keep their economy hamstrung. Feels like they're boxing them in at this stage, Imperial. Never mind, actually. Try as far away. As is Decenti. These two and ladder were the ones I was looking at, but they aren't actually forcing any issues, forcing any duels. Bomb goes off without a hitch. Five survive for Made in Brazil. Three for Imperial, who will swiftly reinvest. And made in Brazil, get a round off of a very critical and clean opener. Very well read on that kill towards Van. Let's 
See what happens here. Imperial have their rifles, just that MP, their UMP. Heavy A lean from both sides here. Is Imperial seem to be reading this quite well? It might be R4 towards ramp 1 in Palace. Pretty standard for an A take. Flashes in, heard by Descent. He got the first phrase for the second. He's bought as a bat and removed by exit. No return frags yet from CT side as Phelps mowed down by the very same. Try around the smoke. He's doubled up, but he falls in due turn. No way. Indoor sandwich. Can he make a meal of it? No. The nade will not connect either for a kill. The tickles drop and the UMP at range finds Zilch. Two in a row here for Made in Brazil. Is their money going to start to grow here? And Imperial probably going to go for a half buy as they have a couple of rounds to play with. And their lack of firepower has sorely hampered them. A timeout now called by the CT side as they look to put a hole or a, they look to put a plug in the hole that has sprung in their ship. Right, the wrongs. Don't let this get out of hand. Don't give Made in Brazil a shot. Don't let them. Don't give them anything to cling to out of desperation. Close this one out. Look to the next one. Take a much deserved break. Look at your opponent. See if you have time. Speaking of, what is that game right now? Pain is up seven to two on map number two. It looks like. Both series are going the same way. First map contentious and close. The second map a bit of a slide. Interesting, the parallels being seen. It's funny how the trends can appear in a series in a tournament. It's always interesting to see how things just reflect each other. So many patterns in life, and I think, too, with our brains designed to recognize patterns, we might see things where there isn't any. But Try sees fire, and he'll run away. That's a pretty good pattern recognition there from him. Fire equals burn. Burn equals damage. Damage equals bad. And no way only will to get one kill out of that. Not too bad at all for MIBR to sustain. The Senti has another, but again, you can take two, maybe even three players worth of casualties if you are MIBR in this situation. Lots of damage, but no further kill from Vinny. As we'll see if MIBR with a seventh and closing the gap to three. But here comes the real trial now. Op for try. M4s on the rest. Phelps minimal utility. But Imperial. Hit. Yeah, Phelps could sell. That helmet, buy it if you... Oh, never mind. They can't. No, nope. be 350. Yeah. Okay, I actually kind of like the utility here more than I do with the kit. Just given the situations. They haven't even really had an opportunity for retakes, Imperial. Their rotations are fast enough where they can try and stop things early. It's been the lack of firepower that's really hurt them. It has. Slower one this time for mid in Brazil. Again, looking for that opening. To exit a lone top middle to find one there. Try to find one there, I should say. Where's the op? It's holding B. Smoke window. Drop now. It's slowly slinking out of underpass. Not spotted yet. No way those here to challenge. Spam close to connecting, but no cigar. Descenti's still here as well, in connector one, spots the second, a double for Descenti. Unanswered, he's low, but it's working. The op of try is pushed forward on B as well, finding one Vinny's here to support. Very well read, very well set up from Imperial as they catch Made in Brazil, look in the wrong direction. One versus five for safety. He's got a quiet map and not much impact whatsoever with the op. Again, distracted by a different player, caught by no way. 11 to seven, a convincing round for Imperial as they show us that they do favor this CT side in spite of that stumble earlier on. They just need the proper weapons, and that's something that they showcase in that round. Plenty of firepower, plenty of duels won. Tri's opping presence helps calm them down and set them up with a stable foundation, too. He's been good. descent has been great. No way and Vinny and Phelps have chimed in. More so, no way and Vinny. 
Now the third and final timeout used by MIBR. Safe still has the op, but look at the money over on this T side here. 650 for BRN, 100 for drop, 50 for safe. 1800 and 1750 the most money on the MIBR squad. They're running out of cash reserves, and Imperial, if they win this round, have match point, series point here. Again, they have to win this one. But they are darn close to putting this one to bed. There are kits now for MIBR too, so keep that in mind. Flesh or rather for Imperial, investment. excuse me, but... You get a, a flawless victory, you can definitely flesh out the following. Oh yeah. Off at ramp, safe wants to be the difference maker. I like this play. Issue is no one's overextending, at least not yet. So we might peek here in a couple seconds. It's how it typically goes on A. I'll just throw a smoke in palace instead. Zish. Where's the A player? He's pushed forward. He was at triple, if I'm not mistaken. He's now up under balcony. Phelps, catwalk. Has an AK. Flashed away, but... No contact proper taken from either team. Good nade to Pecan. No way, though. Just misses the timing. A little bit of damage on the drop. Slow again. Cautious. Imperial. Don't need to get aggressive. They're on the CT side. I say that. Decenti's pushing Palace. Invader of Brazil are like scared it. of giving away an opening. I like this press. It hasn't been called as of yet. It hasn't pushed through before. And that surprises Insani. You just can't catch a break. A difficult series for him. Try now, ready to hold the line. Safe, gonna get flashed in. Vinny up on catwalk. Does not spot the player crossing con, but try goes back for more. And he strikes on the BRN. Safe will trade him back, but still the man advantage lies with the CT side. Phelps on the cross, misses the initial taps, backs away, is no way, takes up the spot in towards CT. Bomb planted, safe, able to win the fight. Phelps can finally take down one, not quite two, though, leaving the Senti in a one versus two. They know where he is as well. Or at least his last known position was in Palace. Spots the head of one. Now clearing away. Drop out towards Connector. The nade could be perfect. Is it enough for the damage? It is! Descenti clutches up again. The nade perfectly on the feet. And so Imperial. Match point here. MIBR. Close but no cigar. Max fully up against the wall now in the upper bracket. Still a second chance at life in the lower bracket. Still five rounds they would need to bring it to overtime and another map too. But this buy is broken. Brittle. Mac 10. Galil. Two Galils. Okay utility. Two AKs. And two players off of double digits. 20 rounds into the game. Difficult. This Sentry's at a 3.0 KD as well. Smothering. Wanting even more good damage on the drop. See, Toadie comes into A. Only one defender here, and he's actually just sacked. Smoke in jungle is good, but no way pops it, gets the kill, and now rotates CT spawn. Even footing. Bomb finally goes down, but no utility. The halt the re-aggression from the CT. That's going to make things near impossible. Spam at range is good for Vinny. Tag down to half, but gets the kill. Wins the duel. Three remaining are towards Tetris. Top con, bottom con exit. Good for one. Tag down. Still surviving, though. Gets one. Advantage secured. The nade does him in, though. Back to even footing. Mac 10 bottom con. Spamming with the AK in tandem. Phelps taking the duel to them, finds one, but falls. His teammate fell right before as well. 8 to 12, Vader Brazil's cobbled together. Desperate, back against the wall. Investment does at least keep them alive. It buys them a little more time. Four now to go. 20% of the way there. And a timeout called by Imperial. Looks like they're going to go for a full force here. They're on double eco after all. They do have a couple of rounds to play with. Try on a glass cannon op is interesting. No op for safe. Mac 10 for drop. Galil for Insani. Triple AKs. 
narrow victory, but victory nonetheless for Maiden Brazil in the last round. But you cannot get lax if you are in my BR. Not only are you the team down, but it's still a decent firepower buy, considering the op and the M4 in the hands of Imperial. To senti on a Deagle is not going to be too shabby either. Phelps can play a good angle with the MP9 and the 5.7 as well, up close and personal. Can get a rifle very quickly. It's not great, but it still has potential for damage, especially on the CT side. And they might even do this perfectly, pushing the pistol up close with a 1-2 combo. Instead, they're going to put the A1S deep into ramp. It's blind, but they don't clear this. The Deagle pops. They've not cleared yet. And now there's one from No Way. Not quite the second as Exit charges onto site. Phelps up top. Able to go one for one as well. Try sprayed through. And so it's all on Vinny's 5-7. Maybe a little bit more in the tank for Maiden Brazil. So there's only one low HP player. And actually, that was a gift for Vinny on that first. Just tagged down too much by the Mac 10 drive-by. So it'll be a 10th for Maiden Brazil, barring any losses to the USPs and no armor, which we shouldn't see. Full save, likely. Mentioned. Imperial things are kind of coming down to the wire at this stage. 12 to 9. Only three rounds separate them from overtime. Aggression towards B and underpass for the USPs. There are two P250s. Exit holding, though. Gets one good trade from the USP. A double dink from no way. Still two here. Mac 10 trying to harvest. It's the AK instead to get the first. No way. Another. Safe in BRN, though. Finding one to pop. Leaving just no way. He's the hero of this round. He's gotten two on the USP, but... Team has found nothing more. He does have a Zeus. You can somehow get in a spot to use that. It would be meaningful damage onto Mid in Brazil. Terrorists win. No further damage. And so now two rounds separate these two teams. The score eerily similar to what we saw on map number one, isn't it, Nate? Very. But will it end the same? Well, MIBR crawled within one of overtime. It's M4s only for Imperial. No defuse kit either, which Tri could forego the helmet and afford one. No way the same. This could come back to bite the CTs. They're not careful. The op's still there for safe. Exit. Heating up again despite his slide towards the tail end of Vertigo in the beginning of Mirage. And a default 2 3 with 2 towards Palace. Now, was 2 towards Palace now, or 3 towards Palace now, 2 towards Palace and 1 towards back a ramp. A very interesting start here from Maiden Brazil. They have not used any utility really either. Still a full complement of Molotovs, plenty of flashbangs, a smoke, and two nades yet to use. There's a lot of possibilities for the T's. A lot of opportunity. Issue is they're just gonna commit out palace. They've already made a decision. Three are here, including the bomb. Two are faking towards B, it appears. BRN and exit on that side of the map. Here they walk out. Phelps tucked in and probably the best spot possible for him. He's gonna let his teammate bait. I love this setup. Not cleared. He wants it all. He's one crossing. He's a second cross. He'll pull the trigger now. Finds one. Spam in response, though, through the smoke is big for Insani. Try. Across the map. Drops X and underpass. Plant now will be attempted. Descenti descends into sight, finding the kill, though. The op trades, but no way in kind answers. Last alive is BRN. He threw a fake towards B, and now he's alone trying to re-enter into the site. 12 seconds. He's been spotted. At this point, it should be curtains. Racing forward, he'll get the first isolated duel. Seven seconds left, though. Spam is good, but does not finish off. Try. Two seconds left. No time whatsoever. And Imperial put it to bed 13 to 10 and close out the series 2 to nothing. 
13-10, 13-10, little shaky from Imperial there on the tail end of Mirage, losing three in a row to MIBR with their backs against the wall. But when it came down to it, Imperial shut it down. They took their...